have heard Keir Starmer's keynote speech at this Labour Party conference. Let's get some reaction now from the one and only Emily Thornbury, MP for Islington South and Finsbury, and indeed Shadow Attorney General for England and Wales. Emily, thank you very much. We've not previously had the pleasure. Um, right, some standouts there. A lot of people wondering, though, when it comes to things like nationalising, you know, great British energy, for example, 100 billion big ones for a price freeze for, the, for energy, etc. Where's all this money coming from? So what we do is we have, a, we have our own rules, which is that it is all right to, to borrow to invest. Mm. And you know, whilst we have Tories who want to kind of borrow in order to give money to the very richest, we want to actually borrow to invest. And by doing that, one of the things which is really fueling inflation, everybody knows this, is the price of gas, is the price of energy. So what we want to do is we want to give, well, as Keir said, we want to have British power to the British people. Mm. We want to start using the energy sources that we've really got. And we're not really exploiting well enough yet. You know, we've got some of the biggest tides in the whole of the world. We ought to have tidal power here. We ought to be spending money on wave power. We ought to be spending much more on, on wind power and solar. We could actually be a superpower when it comes to green energy. We really could. And why not? But green has been a big thing here. Yeah, it? absolutely. A big, a big element. But it's because it's about a million jobs as well. It's not just about bringing down the energy bills. It's about creating jobs for the future. It's a really exciting program, and it's, and it's an exciting program given by somebody who's actually got a bit of vision. Well, a bit of vision, I suppose, yes. It depends what, depends what vision that is. But he did also mention things which must not sit too well with you. Controlled immigration, a points-based system. If the Tories have been saying that, you'd be up in arms. He's not going to reverse Brexit. I don't know where you stood on Scotland before previously, but he's definitely not going to let it go without a fight. How do you feel about all of that in the round? I think what we saw was the speech of a guy who has really stepped up. I think that his confidence has grown. I think that it was quite clear that he was speaking. For, I mean, it's the key I know, you know, actually speaking and not, not being afraid to be himself and to show how his politics come from him. And I think it was a speech of a future prime minister. I really do. I'm so excited by it. I think that it was a really good speech. Are you actually secretly, we've only got about 30 seconds, really glad that he's not up against Boris because Boris, for all his flaws, as they say, was bombastic, right? And he did have a personality and that maybe highlighted some of Keir Starmer's shortcomings. Now he's up against trust. I think what people want is they want a serious man for serious times. And I think that's what Keir is. He's a full man full of ideas and full of confidence and hope. OK, thank you very much. Emily Thornbury, great to finally meet you, I must say. Oh, and you are, quickly, you're DJing tonight, aren't you? I'm DJing tonight, 12 o'clock, uh, Labour students. You're, you're taking to the day. What's your DJ name? <laughs> it's just me. It's just me. OK, <laughs> it'll never catch on. It'll never catch on. All right, Emily, thank you very much. Well, as right. you can tell, I am live now from this Labour Party conference in Liverpool all the way through until 6 o'clock. Just 